So sometime in November of like 2019 or 23rd, I had an interview with one of the Afghanistan TV media and I was telling them, um, I was in Afghanistan and there was a lady who was begging for money. And I, I told her, okay, you know what? I will help you and I will give you money, but clean up the area you're sitting and you're begging for money, for me to give you money. And she's like, no, but you don't understand. I said, why? Why is it that I don't understand? I work hard, I will give you 50 rupees if you clean up. And some of them, they got used to being a, a beggar and asking for money. So when I had the interview on TV, I'm, I requested from businessmen or from people of Afghanistan, stop handing out money, create job. So I told her, clean up the area you're sitting and I'm gonna stand right here till you clean up and I will give you 50 rupees. And when she came and she's like, you don't understand. What is it that I don't understand? I work hard. I live between Beverly Hills, Los Angeles and Afghanistan going back and forth. Every month, literally now I'm in Afghanistan trying to build an infrastructure. Uh, that's one story and then the other one, uh, two years ago, I went to Afghanistan, Herat, and I asked a woman, stop being in the middle of the street asking for money. Why don't you have some dignity and self-respect? Why don't you work? And she said, will you give me a job? Uh, that was quite intriguing to me. I said, absolutely, I will give you a job. I took this woman from the street. I took her to a farming of saffron, and I taught her how to with the help of farmers, I taught her how to cultivate saffron and how to pick the flowers, how to clean them. So I ended up doing a documentary on her that when I went to Afghanistan this trip in November 2019, I asked her, how did you start the cultivation of saffron? And she's like, well, you helped me. It's not about me doing it. Every single one of us can create a job in Afghanistan. Uh, we don't have to beg for money. We don't have to say, hey, give me, give me money. It's like, give me money and it, here it's the fruits of my labor. So um, I hope that everyone who hears this, they can go to worldorphanage.org, donate, and for your donation, you will get cultivation of our fruits of our labor. You will get saffron. And um, a lot of stories in Afghanistan uh, since 2011 that I've been going back and forth. Um, back in 2014, I was with my cousin in Afghanistan and I witnessed an explosion. And I never knew what an explosion actually does to you uh, till I felt a, a wave that pushed me. And it's funny that it's easy to say, but when you're in it, it's a complete different experience. I fell down and I couldn't hear anything. All I could hear is just a, a beep noise. And I thought I lost my ear sight. Uh, I got up and it was just crazy. I couldn't hear anything. I saw like from far distance that a bus exploded. And I thought I, I won't be able to go back to Afghanistan. But it's funny that I became more dedicated to that, to Afghanistan, my country, more than since that incident. And after that, my cousin being with uh, part of UN, he, he said, you have to get out of Afghanistan. These are things that you're not used to. You live in Los Angeles to witness explosions. Um, I had to, I, I cried for a couple of days. I was depressed for several months. I didn't know how to deal with it emotionally, but um, it made me stronger woman, and I am willing to help the country. I just hope that US government, USAID, World Bank, and the Afghanistan government uh, comes and unites with this organization to make this unity movement, agriculture movement, make it a global movement. Uh, I'm one person, without you, I will still be one person, but I'm not gonna give up on making Afghanistan great, just like US. Thank you. Perfect.